Hey guys, Thought Squire was um, <laughs> um, Skyrim. I almost said Skyward Sword. Yeah. It uh, was, uh, was uh, November 26th at 4.49 a.m. Uh, the last episode was where I was used to li live, so, and now I'm finally getting back into the game because Skyward Sword. I am done with it, I already played it, and I don't know if I'll be mixing this with with, with Skyward Sword episodes, because I have a shitload of Skyward Sword episodes I should be uploading, so I don't know what, well, if you're watching this now, I probably have uploaded them all, or I am mixing them up, like, oh, some here's some Skyrim, here's some Skyward Sword, you know, like, push them out, depending on how much videos I have for each game, well, I, ha I know how many I have for Skyrim Sword. I'm not going to say anything. But Skyrim just started playing again. <laughs> and like before, I couldn't do anything about the size of my preview screen. I tried uh, the video studio, and actually the screen is bigger. But here's one thing. Frames drop like crazy. Frame drops hundreds, 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 fucking all the time. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, skippy, bullshit, crazy, it's useless, do I expect me to read a damn fucking thing? Wow, I wish I was like feeling like this when I was recording Sarah, um, Sarah, sorry, I was like addicted and I couldn't, I was mostly silent, spoiler, yeah, it's, well, I was just recording, 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 for like, four, one, two, three, Four days straight, four or five. I don't remember. I know your family's honor is important to you, but we can't afford it. It took me weeks to find that thieves' den. I can't stop now, and I can't get the sword on my own. So you're willing to starve your wife and daughter to reclaim some rusty old sword? I just need to hire one, maybe two good men. You won't starve. I'll put it plainly. You can claim your sword, or you can keep your wife. If you set foot outside that gate, I won't be here when you return. Ouch. Sup? You tried mercenary work? It might suit you. My sapphire doesn't like that I've been spending so much time looking for my father's old sword. He fed his entire family with the gold he made using that weapon. I'm not about to let it gather dust in some thief's trophy room. I tracked it to a group of bandits nearby, but I'm no fool. I'd need the white run guards or maybe hire the companions to get it. I don't know why I'm saying this, but if you find it out in your travels, I'd be grateful to you. Wait, I... Sometimes I miss the soldier's life. But when I hold my daughter in my arms, I know I made the right choice. Hmm. No, friend, that I'm not. But I get along with your kind well enough. No, I'm a Red Guard. My family hails from the Imperial Province. Ah, but I left home when I was just a lad. Been wandering ever since. Interesting. I can teach you a few things. Too expensive. Right then. The text is so fucking small in this game. It's my only complaint right now. Text is too small. I can't lay down. I lay down. I don't know. I'll figure out something. I might actually get a splitter, move it all the way to my TV. Uh, actually, I don't like that setup. Yeah. Cause I'll hear no, I'll just have my headset, just, just have the video output it to my TV, so I can just sit back and just, you know, play and um, play it from my TV. I don't know. I'll, I'll think about it. I'll just have to get. Uh, what should I do? Hmm. Hmm. I already have a two split a okay one goes to my video card 
But it's a, it, I, I made my own quiet cable back when I was doing Fallout 3, like in July of 2010. Um, I might be able to take a, a uh, S video cable from that, plug into my TV. I just need the video part. I'm going to use my headset so I don't audio but be back going right back to my headset. So I'll just have my headset on and stuff like that. And, um, Looking for my husband, Nazim? Check the Jarl's backside. That's usually where so yeah, I'm gonna think about that for my future let's plays. I don't know about like a lot, like. Um, let's see. What the fuck is going on? Love, love, even as man, great Talos, cheer. You have come. You have come to hear the word of Talos. Because the so-called emperor is a coward. That's right! I said coward! Oh, hmm. yes. He agreed to banish the worship of Talos at the tip of an Aldmeri sword. They called it the White Gold Concordat. Well, I call The man of multiple me, voices. The true son of the Empire would never have turned his back on our greatest hero. Not at any point. Yeah, um, Bethenda games well, are known, really, the voice right. actors, I mean, like, either it's two different voice actors for one character. Here. For some, for some points, it's like, a different voice, at some points it is. I know this is the same person, and he just sounds different. <laughs> Let them come! I have no fear, for Talos is my ally, Stop. and I am his arrest. His word is upon my lips. His voice Give up your belongings or go to jail. <laughs> that one, I don't think I got it right. Hello, my friend. If you seek knowledge about mighty Talos, you have most certainly come to the right person. In mortal life, Talos was a Nord, possessed of unmatched tactical skill, limitless wisdom, and the power to see into men's hearts. Talos mastered the power of the voice, and with it he united the lands of men into a great empire. In southern lands, he was known by the name Tiber Septim. Here in Skyrim, we honor him by his proper Nord name. So great was his reign in life, when he ascended to the heavens, he was made Lord of the Divines. If you want to know more, I'm sure you can find any number of tomes on the subject. Interesting. What should we do? What should we do? What should we do? Let's see, I don't know. What should we do? Uh, let's see, let's see. Kill this thing over here. Oh, it should be a Brahmin. Two headed cows. No. No, it's not a cow. It's a bull? Or. I don't know. Never mind. Hello? Hello? I'm the commander of the guard here in Whiterun. Interesting. Kid running for. What are you looking at? I'm not afraid of you. No, even if you are. Why is why does she sound like a boy? <laughs> Seriously, she sounds like a boy. Hello. God might get nervous. A man approaches with his weapon drawn. Is it dragons? Yes. I forgot how to do that uh, attack. Oof. Oof. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. What should we do? Let's see. No, I don't want to wait. I want to look. In my time, I need to find Red Guard Woman. Dragon. 
inside it, in that a watchtower in there. Objectives. Oh. Oh yeah, I have to report back to that guy. Uh, bring down. I can barely read anything. Holy shit, after this recording session, I'm going to be experimenting with a uh, SVU cable. Well, two. One for my PC so I can just lay back and just play uh, PC games off with my 360 controller. I can just lay down on my bed and play and stuff. And one for uh, recording, just to output the game video to. Uh, my TV so I can actually record and use my TV because for at least for this game because this game text is so fucking itty bitty itty bitty text hard to see and people think I have you know reading problems well some words I never use I will have a hard time pronouncing but like my dar um, like, well, I'm making no problem 11 minutes I did nothing really Okay, okay, okay. I know where to go now. Let's, uh... Use our map. Yes, okay. Well. Ten minutes, okay. Like, my Dark Cloud Let's Play, people are like, Oh, learn to read! Do you have, a, do you have like, some mental issue or something? Stuff like that. I'm like, itty bitty screen, itty bitty piece of shit, previous screen, itty bitty. Two, the font in the fucking game was weird. Letters looked different, harder to recognize. That's the thing with that. So yeah, and this game suffers from small font. Itty bitty screen, squishes itty bitty font, making it, uh, Jagged and harder to read. Good, you're finally here. The I can't read that. <laughs> you heard the summons. What else could it mean? The Greybeards. We were just talking about you. My brother needs a word with you. So, what happened at the Watchtower? Was the dragon there? I knew I could count on Irileth. But there must be more to it than that. Dragonborn. What do you know about the Dragonborn? So it's true. The Greybeards really were summoning you. Masters of the Way of the Voice. They live in seclusion, high on the slopes of the throat of the world. The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a thune or shout. If you really are Dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. Didn't you hear the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? That was the voice of the Greybeards, summoning you to High Rothgar. This hasn't happened in centuries, at least. Not since Tiber Septim himself was summoned when he was still Talos of Atmora. Rhonda, calm yourself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Capable as he may be, I don't see any signs of him being this, what, Dragonborn. Nord nonsense? Why, you puffed up ignorant! These are our sacred traditions that go back to the founding of the First Empire. Prongar, don't be so hard on Avenici. I meant no disrespect, of course. It's just that, what do these Greybeards want with him? That's the Greybeard's business, not ours. Whatever happened when you killed that dragon, it revealed something in you, and the Greybeards heard it. If they think you're Dragonborn, who are we to argue? You'd better get up to High Hrothgar immediately. There is no refusing the summons of the Greybeards. It's a tremendous honor. 
I envy you, you know. To climb the 7,000 steps again. I made the pilgrimage once. Did you know that? High Hrothgar is a very peaceful place. Very disconnected from the troubles of this world. I wonder that the Greybeards even notice what's going on down here. They haven't seemed to care before. <laughs> no matter. Go to High Hrothgar. Learn what the Greybeards can teach you. You've done a great service for me and my city, Dragonborn. By my right as Jarl, I name you Thane of Whiterun. It's the greatest honor that's within my power to grant. I assign you Lydia as a personal housecarl, and this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would we? We are honored to have you as Thane of our city, Dragonborn. Back to business, Proventus. We still have a city to defend. Yes, my lord. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. I can go now? Why am I slow? What is it that you need? Uh, stop being like a magnet and holding my character white. Oh, I'm overcomer, no wonder. <laughs> I'm like, why am I moving so fucking slow? Is that, no. Imperial sword. Uh, X drop one. There's like, oh, I can jump while I'm encumbered, but okay, where is something I can get rid of? Small text, you beep. Is this the sword he gave me? Uh. Oh, that's gotta be the weapon he gave me. Ouch. Is that the weight 20? Seriously? I just need to drop one more thing. Let's see. You got it. There we go. We should find the house. Um. Did you really find that house? It's supposedly... The Jarl has appointed me to be your house, Carl. It's an honor to serve you. The Jarl has recognized you as a person of great importance in the Hold. A hero. The title of Thane is an honor. A gift for your service. The guards will know to look the other way if you tell them who you are. As my Thane, I'm sworn to your service. I'll guard you and all you own with my life. You shouldn't leave weapons laying around. Someone could get hurt. If I see you doing it again, that someone will be you. Have I made myself clear? See that it doesn't happen again. <laughs> you actually get in trouble for putting your weapons down. <laughs> Holy shit. Toss. <laughs> You're under arrest for tossing a weapon. You're under arrest for dropping your weapon. Hey kids, here's a weapon. <laughs> That's funny. You may hear a hum. I have to put my foot on my computer to, um, to, uh, remove it. I am apparently not grounded. <laughs> I am me, the person. I have to ground myself where the hum stays. Alright, let's see. No. 
No. P, yes. X for what? Uh, local. Temple. Temple. Where's my home? Where's the home where I can buy? Hall of the Dead. Ah. Where's the house can I buy? I am looking for a house to buy. Bring out your dead. No, never mind. I used to be in a temple. the house. It's supposed to say there's a house I could buy and um, I need a place to put my shit. It's not red. Maybe Grey Mane's my house. No. Where's the fucking house can I buy, man? Chat with an old woman, hmm? Mm hmm? Mm hmm? Yes, hmm. Yes. Hmm. Hmm. Yes. <laughs> Guess where that's from. And the character. Hmm. Yes. Hmm. Hmm. Yes. My god, which house is mine? Let's go to our the same map. Map. <laughs> what? No. I don't know what the fuck that was about. Uh, general goods. Where is the house I'm supposed to be able to buy? Damn it. Chair sucks. I understand that. I'm looking for a fucking house. I want a house. the side of a strong But everything all right? I mostly deal with petty thievery and drunken brawls. Been too long since you've had a good bandit raid. <laughs> Sounds like he wants a bandit raid. <laughs> all right. I don't know where a house is. Where is the mother freaking mouse? Damn it. The future of Skyrim now. I'm just gonna go back here and ask, or pop, watch a card pop out of nowhere. <laughs> Boop. Hello, I'm a card. Stop, thief. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. 
getting you know the I don't know. Ah, God damn. At least in Fallout 3 they point out where your house is and stuff. You have my attention. If it's the war you're referring to, I'm on the side of Whiterun. No doubt General Tullius and his friends in the Empire will tell you that I owe them my loyalty. And perhaps I do. Ulfric Stormcloak would say that I owe my allegiance to the Nord people as they fight for Skyrim's independence. Perhaps this is also true. The day might come when I am forced to draw my sword for one side or the other. But that day has not come yet. With good planning and constant vigilance, even now my court wizard, Farangar, continues his research into ways we might I drive don't know back these is. terrors. We must also have ample reserves of water to combat the fires that will surely spread after an attack. But our greatest weapon? Courage. For if we cannot kill the beast, we must at least have the tenacity to drive it back. Until brave heroes step forward to destroy these monsters, that is the best we can do. In the old tales, the dragonborn heroes would use the power of their voice to defeat the enemies of Skyrim. Wolfhearth was dragonborn. Talos, too, the founder of the Empire. Back in the good old days. In the very oldest tales, back from when there still were dragons in Skyrim, the dragonborn would slay dragons and steal their power. Well, I'm going to end this episode because it's just dragging on and I am actually going to force myself to actually look up on the internet for a uh, house in Right Run. Yeah, I like to keep myself um, blind, but this is the point I need a house, I need somewhere to live, I need to dump my stuff somewhere when I'm full and yeah, so see you next episode. Bye.